the poo balloons are back. <laughs> They're back. And this time they've scored the direct hit. I don't know why I, I don't know why I love this so much. Trash balloons land near South Korean president's office. They almost got him. They almost hit him with a bag of poo. Uh, balloons carrying rubbish sent by North Korea have landed in South Korea's presidential compound and the capital city of Seoul, say officials. It is the first time the South Korean leader's office, which is a designated no-fly zone, <laughs> what are you going to do? Tell the balloon to turn around? Uh, has been hit by balloons launched by Pyongyang. Uh, a chemical, biological and radiological warfare response team was sent to collect the balloons, the Presidential Security Service has said. They were found to pose no contamination or safety risk. According to a news report by local news site Yonhap, the military did not shoot down the balloons as they feared it would cause their contents to spread further. Imagine that, because for those of you that don't know, a lot of North Koreans are basically putting, like, shitty nappies, like, used toilet paper, or just shitting directly in bags and putting, like, rotten vegetables and fruit in these bin bags, t attaching them to balloons, and then just going bye-bye, like, and just letting them float over into South Korea. And basically, they're coming over, they're bursting and going everywhere, and basically, everything's getting covered in shit. Right? And I'm sorry, it's funny. I'm sorry, it's just far too funny. Uh, the balloons, imagine it gets shot down when you're under it and it's like, oh no! <laughs> it just starts raining shitty nappies all around you. Uh, the balloons also landed in other parts of Seoul with officials telling residents to avoid touching the balloons and report them to the nearest military unit or police station. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff told Reuters that the wind blowing from the west, balloons uh, with wind blowing from the west, balloons aimed at the south were likely to land in the northern Gyeonggi province, the country's most populous province, where the capital city is located. The latest incident comes days after South Korea's military reacted to the escalating launches by restarting propaganda broadcasts from the loudspeaker along the border. Uh, from loudspeakers along the border. North and South Korea have both used balloons in their propaganda campaigns since the Korean War in the 1950s. The launches have escalated this year, with thousands of balloons being sent by the North across the border since May. Wednesday's balloons marked the North's 10th launch this year in what it claims is retaliation for balloons sent by, North, uh, by South Korean activists. These allegedly contained anti-Pyongyang leaflets alongside food, medicine, money and USB sticks, loaded with K-pop videos and dramas. K-pop videos and K-dramas. The North Koreans have suffered enough. Why would you send them that? K-pop and K-dramas. One thing I will say, however, South Korean cinema, fucking mwah, Like, South Korean cinema is astounding because they're doing this really, really weird thing that the West has forgotten how to do where they just make a good movie. They just say, let's give it an extremely good, interesting and intriguing plot and let's make likeable characters that people can relate to and let's just make a really good story and a really good movie. They're, they're still doing that. They're still doing that. We're not, unfortunately, anymore. Story? I need, the, I need the main character to be black and trans. Who gives a fuck about story? Right, honestly, South, South Korean cinema is fucking exquisite. Old boy is still... My my top number one. Do not watch the American remake. It's absolute dog shit, right? Old Boy is a great movie. But then there's also ones like Burning, Memories of Murder, Forgotten, amazing fucking movies. No Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. Like, everyone's probably already seen Parasite by this point, but it's still a great movie, you know? That's a bit more mainstream now. But honestly, do not do not sleep... Uh, do not sleep on uh, South, Korea, South Korean cinema. It's fucking excellent. But anyway, I was at the end of the article then. But yeah, I wish war was like this. I, w <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I wish war was like this instead. Nobody gets killed. Everyone just get gets hit with balloons full of shit. I just imagine a bunch of guys like in a car in plain clothes pulling up to the military checkpoint, getting out and just throwing shitty nappies at the soldiers, and then they drive off. I want warfare to be like that. In fact, see when the book comes, that's that that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs>